several, many people in the abortion rights mm -hmm. community about um, Judge Sotomayor, mm -hmm. and I'm wondering if you can respond to that and talk about, I know you said there was no litmus test and no, you know, demand of an answer uh, when the President interviewed her, but did he talk with her at all about her views on the constitutional right to privacy, sort of talk around the issue at all with her? Well, um, obviously, and, and we talked about this throughout the process, the President obviously is familiar with uh, the Constitution, the teaching of constitutional law. Uh, in their um, discussions, they talked about the theory of constitutional interpretation, uh, generally including her views um, on unenumerated rights in the Constitution uh, and the theory of settled law. law. Uh, he left very comfortable with uh, her interpretation of the Constitution being similar to that, that of his, though the bulk of the conversation uh, was about her approach to, uh, to judging. Can you put that into um, non-lawyer language since I'm not a lawyer? Does that mean that he feels comfortable? You should have seen the language that I had earlier. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Progress a little bit yeah. further. Does it, does Starry decisis was in the uh, original. Uh, I still do lawyer stuff. That was gonna help. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, would unenumerated rights be sort of code for the right to privacy since it's not enumerated in the Constitution? Well, again, I, I think there were there was a, a as I said a minute ago, a general discussion about constitutional interpretation, uh, about how one uh, viewed the document, and, and and the president left very comfortable with. Uh, the fact that uh, that interpret she she says a similar interpretation to he that he does. So does that mean he feels comfortable that she believes in a constitutional right to privacy? Uh, I think he feels comfortable with uh, uh, comfortable that she shares his philosophy generally on the Constitution. And then, Mike, some news at the press briefing today, right, yes. about these abortion rights um, supporters who are concerned about Judge Sotomayor's uh, record. What did the White House have to say today? Well, right out of the box, Robert Gibbs was asked about these reports that those on the left are a little bit concerned about uh, Sonia Sotomayor's record, or lack of record, more accurately, we should say, on the question of abortion and on the question of Roe v. Wade. And here's what Robert Gibbs had to say. He says that in their discussion that the president and Judge Sotomayor had last Thursday when they met for an hour, remember she was here on the White House grounds, we're told, for a total of seven hours, one hour of which was devoted to a conversation with the president, uh, that they talked about her view on so-called unenumerated rights and settled law, and this is very clearly an allusion to the right to privacy uh, and Roe v. Wade, and that, and that uh, the president himself is very comfortable with her interpretation of the Constitution. So the left, uh, very, very clearly indicating to the left that they should not be concerned about her position on abortion. Nora. Very interesting. Mike Vicara at the White House. Mike, thank you. Certainly.